You have a world to change. You will have to be what? I would gladly follow you over a cliff. Are you bumming as much as me today? Every time I see that promo for the final episode of the series Scandal, which airs tonight right here on ABC, I get bummed because I'm one of the loyal viewers who have joined Olivia, Melly, Fitz, and the rest of the Gladiators' journey for seven seasons. And it all comes down tonight. With the existence of B613 exposed to the world, will the Gladiators make the ultimate sacrifice in order to take down Cyrus and Jake? Well, as we anticipate tonight's episode, we get the pleasure of talking with the president herself, President Melly Grant, also known as Bellamy Young. Bellamy, thank you so much for joining us today. Say it's not so. Say this is all made up and you're going to oh. come back next year and this is just for uh, promotion reasons. Exactly. It's just for ratings, Natalie. It's just for ratings. <laughs> no, I wish. You don't know how much I wish. Uh, any of us would show up. We would probably show up and do more made up uh, episodes in someone's dining room. We love it that much, but we sure wish we could keep going. And Bellamy, it seems like all of the characters have had their peaks and valleys, their ups and downs. No one more than your character. Were there any storylines in particular that were your favorite? I know I've got some of mine. What were your favorite to shoot? Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, I was really proud of our episode where Melly filibustered, um, getting to say those actual line items. Like, I think people thought maybe some that they were hyperbole or writer's exaggeration, but those are actual line items out of a uh, congressional bill that was shocking to me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was proud of her getting, just really getting to achieve her dream, right? Like, to have been knocked down so many times and still to wind up in the Oval. I would sit there nights and they would light the fire in the Oval and I would just be so moved for her. Um, she sacrificed a lot, but she never gave up. I love that you went with the uh, poignant moments. I'm gonna kind of go with more of the uh I don't want to say humorous, but ones that stuck out were a few potato chip eating episodes that we saw some bathrobe <laughs> wearing right sure. there in the White House. Sure. Did you really eat all sure. of those chips? And how much fun was that to be able to do? A little something different in your character. Yeah, no, Natalie, I'm not one of those actors that was like, I think I need another for my acting. I'm like, I think I need another because I haven't finished my bag of chips yet. <laughs> yeah, no. And they made me some delicious, I've been vegan since forever, and they made me some delicious vegan fake looking uh, fried chicken that I ate on that balcony <laughs> all day long and took the rest of it home. It was that good. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. That just makes me even happier to hear. But let's talk about I'm feeling happy <laughs> now, although the series is coming to an end, but so many popular shows that are out there. Loyal viewers are sometimes left with questions or maybe not a big fan of how it mm. ended. What are your thoughts? How does this wrap up? Do you think viewers right. are gonna come away feeling fulfilled? Yeah, it's, it's so interesting. Because we talked about a lot about that, like how big shows had ended, and we couldn't even see when we were shooting the second to last episode how it would end. Uh, the cast, we were all talking about, you know, do you think we just didn't want to die? Everybody wanted to stay alive, and you know, but we couldn't see how Shonda was going to finish it in an hour. You know, one more, one mm -hmm. last 42 minutes of of this story. But I'm telling you, she did. She's just. I don't know. She's a once in a generation storyteller and she has brought this ship into port so beautifully. It is tonight is as hilarious. It is absolutely heartbreaking and moving and jaw dropping and just serves the characters perfectly. We were so satisfied at the table read. Just all the feels. Absolutely all the feels. Well, you're saying you get all the feels. I'm pumped to see if I get all the feels. I am sure I will. No questions asked. And I think I also know the answer to this, but I want to ask, what are you going to miss the most? I'm yeah. going to miss you every Thursday. What are you going to miss? Oh, man. I mean, really, literally all of it. I'll miss the family, cast, crew, writers, everything. I'll miss the meatiness of the work, you know, especially as a woman. You if you got one of those monologues on Broadway for the rest of your life, you'd be like, that was the best job. But we got them week after week after week. Um, I'm going to miss our Gladiator family. That's who got us our, even our second season. You know, like their support is the reason that we got a chance to do any of this. So the people that we share Thursday night with, our family around the globe, I'll really miss that. Um, 
but hopefully I won't have to miss the love. Hopefully all the love will endure. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for what you've done on this show. Again, I loved every second of it. It was truly a pleasure talking with you and I can't see, wait to see what else you have coming up in your future as well. Thanks so much, Natalie. Thanks for supporting the show. And again, I loved every second of it and catch the series finale right here on ABC tonight at 10 o'clock.